Hi guys, I'm Hi, Andre. I'm Liv. Um, and this is the Achan Top 5 brought to you by some sparkly socks. <laughs> Thank you. Right. So this week we are dressed in black. Yes. We're matching. Not deliberate, not intentionally. Not intentionally. And we're also here in Thailand, in, Puk in um, the PP Islands, and there's a reason for that. Um, do you want to tell us why? Well, yes, we're in mourning for a couple of friendships and relationships and heartache from Hollywood this So week. we decided we needed to get away from all the negativity in Hollywood, yeah. in showbiz. So we've come to one of the most beautiful, peaceful places that we know. Yeah, it's been exhausting, but uh, luckily we're yeah. resting up. Right, so first story. Okay, we, we touched on it last week, um, Jordan Woods and the Kardashian drama um, with her kind of getting too close and hooking up with Tristan. Too close? I know, she I just didn't want to... Tristan. <laughs> well, what too close? Yeah. She got in there. And the family have completely disowned her, seemingly like, you know, really like no tolerance. Basically, Jordan is now going on Jada Pinkett Smith's chat show yeah yeah so a lot of people are angry about that because chloe's been dignified and kept her silence um the rest of the family haven't really said much no um there's also a non-disclosure form that she has signed so they're sitting they're in fuming. anticipation anticipation watching what she says because she could get sued for a lot of money yeah um i also think it's really really inappropriate for her she's the other woman she should be hiding like mm -hmm in a blacked out room, to be honest, and keeping <laughs> and deleting her social media channels, yet she's now going on TV shows looking for attention. Yeah, it's, a, it's potentially a very bad move for her, but it kind of maybe solidifies the fact that there really is no going back for Jordan and Kylie and the Kardashians. So watch this space. It is happening in a couple of days' time. Girl, that was you and your family. If somebody did that to your sister, would you still, like... No, it's a tough one. Well, I mean, it's not. It's not a tough one. It's not, one. but I do... I don't know, you can get caught up in things. Make She's got a heart, I don't. I'd be like, get out. Yeah, blacklisted. <laughs> blacklisted. Right, next one is um, Jeremy Meeks, mm -hmm. I, uh, AKA the hot felon. <laughs> what? what? How has he still not dropped that name? Everyone knows him as the hot felon. It's just so impressive. So he's with Chloe Green, right? The top shop boss's daughter, mm -hmm. reality star. So there's been a lot of drama about their relationship. They've been hanging out in Dubai quite a lot. Um, and they have a baby as well. So and they have a baby serious. together. Yeah. yeah. Um, so they were at Kabali Club for a launch recently. And they had a massive, massive row. Mm. Um, and Which we love stuff like this. We love a, a row. <laughs> he then left, stormed out of the venue, left her at Kabali Club. And um, now she's being spotted, being photographed without her ring on. So we're doing like a reading between the lines. We're doing a reading between the lines. But can I tell you another funny story? So this happens in, in Dubai, very awkward. Mm -hmm. So like two days later, um, Beyonce and Jay-Z had a Oscars party at um, Chateau Mamont. See, I've done my research, you can tell. At Chate Sticking to the script as always. So girl, he, he, went, he went to the door and they bounced him because they're like, he stood in his photograph standing at the door and they're like clipboard and they're like, your name's not on the list. Oh my God. And he had to leave. He thought he, would, he could, thought he could just gate crash Beyonce and Jay-Z's party. Awkward. Oh my God, not getting on has been, getting on a list has happened to us all though, hasn't it? No. Okay. I just, don't, I can't relate. Just me. Oh, it's you. Prickets! <laughs> <laughs> Next. Okay, Katy Perry. Um, I don't know anything about the story, so throw it at me again. Well, we know now that um, she's engaged to Orlando Bloom, which is all happy, happy, but we didn't know how they had got engaged. And then she went uh, on a chat show a couple of days ago and spoke about it. Basically, I want to know, like, kind of your thoughts and your thoughts. Um, is it cringe or is it cute? How so tell me how it Orlando happened. Orlando proposed. I have to tell the okay, story so this first. Okay, intro. Yes. Um, so he, they had dinner and then she thought they were just going to an arts gallery afterwards, basically got on a helicopter, had all the champagne and he just did it then like kind of on Valentine's Day as also. So it's like mass Valentine's Day, helicopter, champagne, all a bit like cliche and then land on this roof in downtown um, and all her family and friends are there like cheering. Mm, I think it could be a more original. I'm all, all about, for me, engagements and proposals are all about location. Yeah. So if it's just kind of like, you just happen to be downtown wherever you live. If you, if you did this downtown Dubai, I'd be like, meh. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah. If you, if you did it here in, in beautiful Thailand, yeah. that would be a different story. Um, 
Go like I was on a helicopter ride through the Grand Canyon recently. Now that's magical. I roll me. That's magical. <laughs> like downtown, like I don't know. It is still romantic and it is still cool. The fact that the family was waiting there, I think yeah. that always for me is the big catch. It's just the like fact the that you're having this moment, you're just celebrating, and then your loved ones are there. I think that's lovely. That's nice. Yeah. It's just a little bit like The Bachelor, like, you know, popping the champagne on the helicopter. It's just like a little bit kind of impersonal, I feel. I don't know if you can say champagne on this, but it's kind oh, of. Oh, popping bubbles. <laughs> popping <laughs> bubbles. <laughs> okay, let's move on to Lady Gaga, who is always, I mean, she's just in the news constantly at the moment. Um, this is to do with Bradley Cooper and them, basically, is them more. I think to everybody their watching knows, girl, because yeah. anybody who doesn't know what's going on with Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga right well, now. Well, that's because is... nothing is going on. Do you think so? I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. I, I want th some you, things to go you on. You do, but I also don't think that's good. The, the whole internet and all the memes and everyone's like, we want you to be together. But actually, he has a girlfriend and it's just really inappropriate. I honestly don't know if I believe that that relationship's real, to be honest, the Irina Bradley relationship. I don't mm. think, I think it was, you know, in Hollywood, we always have to question relationships. I don't know if I think that, if I think it's real. Um, their chemistry is undeniable. Mm -hmm. Let's be honest. That is yeah, undeniable. Yeah. Um, also, Irina unfollowed Lady Gaga on Instagram with yeah. all of this that's going on. And I, in, in celeb world, we all know that says a lot. That is means there is beef. Yeah. She's there is not beef happy. going on. She's, she's not, not happy. happy about this. So, honestly, my opinion, I'd love them to hook up. I disagree, but we will see. I'm always call it wrong. I'm like, no, nothing will happen. They're just really professional. And then it comes out, and I was like, oh. So she she's saying like, you'll you'll forgive your like f friends if they screw your family over, but yet when it's true love, it's like you're like, no, 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 it's not true love. Okay. Let's finish off again. This is a story you wanted to do. Bebe Rexa. Bebe, it's Bebe. Oh, Bebe, Bebe Rexa. Bebe so Rexa. I literally don't even know who she is. I get so confused. Um, She's you're not You're now contradicting famous. yourself because you told me the other day that you do. Anyway. No. We, let's have this conversation off camera. So Bibi Rexa, I love her. I think she's cool. Um, you even said the other day that you like her and that you lost respect because of that outburst that she had. Anyway, backtracking. Yeah. So there's more drama with Bibi. Um, she is, obviously, she's been doing quite well. She's a bit overconfident. She's dropped a new music video. And her father sent her a message, like a text message, and okay. said, sorry? Yeah, I said, okay. I'm okay. listening. I'm listening. <laughs> so her father sent her a text message and said, you need to stop um, making this uh, stupid pornography. He called her music video. You make me sick. You're an embarrassment. I can't, I can't go out of the house because it's all I think of like when I'm in public. Um, and he just ripped into her and he was just like, I'm very embarrassed for these, for these risque videos that you're making. Um, she then stupidly screen grabbed it and then shared it on social media and <sighs> says, my dad hates me. Her fans and start trolling her dad. Oh my gosh, this is a joke. Yeah, so he hasn't spoken to her for two weeks. This got revealed um, this this week. She, at the time of filming this video, <laughs> she actually flew uh, to New York to go see him, um, to go and, to try, and clear the to, air. to try clear the okay. air. So it's not like a Meghan Markle thing where no. it's like you stay there. Well, yeah, they're so she's actually leagues apart. She's also. she's and she's realized this is quite dramatic, um, and she obviously loves her dad. They've been photographed together loads. Um, since she, she kind of became famous. Okay. So, yeah, she's trying to sort it out. What yeah. do you think? Do you think her dad has the right to, uh, to I judge? Mean, I couldn't possibly comment because I don't really know the full story. You should see her Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> so rude. And as thrilling as uh, that what story was, thanks, she's going to go throw me off one of these for, cliffs. for sharing. <laughs> I'd like to go back to our idyllic paradise where I don't have stress <laughs> and I don't mispronounce celebrity names. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Until next week then. Yep. Until next week. Thank Bye. you.